Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna continue with geotechnical engineering and we're gonna talk specifically about void ratio pressure relationship. The pressure is doubled on a saturated clay for which compression index equals to 0 0.30 and the initial void ratio equals to 0 0.800. What is the void ratio after the soil consolidates under the pressure increase? Let me put up a sketch so we can understand this better. So imagine this is your layer of saturated clay. And these are the clay particles. And this space in between is water. Every single void is filled with water because we have saturated clay. We can also represent this in this manner here. If we were to separate the solids from the water, so here we are going to have the solid part. And this is water. This distance is E sub zero is the initial void ratio. And as we place a load on top of this clay layer, and then as we increase the effective stress, on this layer of clay, these particles, they are now closer together because due to this process, the water is expelled from the pores, right? So now we have less water in between these pores. This can be also represented in this manner. where we have the same amount of solids, right? This is the same age here. And this distance is E, let's say sub F, E final. And the change in void ratio is this over here. This is delta E. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Based on this sketch, we can say that E sub zero, the initial void ratio, equals to delta E plus final void ratio. The problem is asking us to calculate what is the void ratio after the soil consolidates under the pressure increase. So initially we have a certain pressure and then the problem states the pressure is doubled. So if we call this pressure P, then when we double this pressure, that means that this is going to be 2P. In order for us to calculate EF, what the problem is asking us to calculate, we must know delta E. Let's see what relation we can use to calculate delta E. Let's go to the FE handbook. We know delta E is the change in void ratio. So if I was to type that, I'm going to get a lot of options if I only type change in void ratio. So this is delta E, and there is a relation between compression index over here and delta E which is gonna help us calculate the change in void ratio. Let's go ahead and write this equation. Okay, so based on the equation we just found in the FE handbook, we know that compression index equals to change in void ratio over change in logarithm base 10 of P. And from this equation, we can calculate for delta E equals to compression index multiplied by change 
logarithm base 10 of b. Moving forward, we can rewrite this compression index multiplied by delta logarithm of b is the change, again, going in the FE handbook, delta p is the change in consolidation stress. So we know initially we have p and then it doubled. So I'm going to write this as logarithm base 10 of 2p minus logarithm base 10 of b. And now how do you solve that? How much is logarithm base 10 of 2p minus logarithm base 10 of b? I hope your answer is not logarithm base 10 of b because that's not how you solve logarithm. There is a property of logarithm under the mathematics. And if you're not aware of it, I'm just gonna quickly go and show it to you. Let's see if I go to mathematics. There you go, logarithms. And the property of logarithm when you have a difference of logarithms, there you go. This is what we're going to use. So when you have logarithm of x minus logarithm of y, this is equal to logarithm of x over y. So this is what we have. Our x is 2p, our y is p. So this equation is equal to logarithm base 10 of 2p over p. P and P are going to go away. So now we're going to substitute C sub C equals to 0 0.30 multiplied by logarithm base 10 of 2. This equals, as always, please use your calculators along with me to get used to its functions. You can actually stop the video and calculate this on your own. So uh, let's see, we have two a logarithm of base 10 of that multiplied by 0 0.3. And this gives me 0 0.009. Or actually, no, 0 0.09. 0 0.090. Zero. It's not quite clear. Delta E equals to this. So this is delta E, 0 0.09. And look at the options you have here. When you calculate delta E, 0 0.09, you have an option A, and you might be tempted on the exam if you're not paying attention to say that A is the correct answer. But what we have calculated here is the change in void ratio. What the problem is asking us to calculate is the final void ratio. What is the void ratio after the soil consolidates under the pressure increase? So we are asked to calculate the void ratio, not the change in void ratio. So now I'm gonna come back to this equation over here that we have set at the beginning of this video, we know that E sub zero equals to change in void ratio plus final void ratio. And from here, let me do this big arrow. Okay, so from here we can calculate E final equals to E sub zero minus change in void ratio. And this is going to be equal to 0 0.800 minus 0 0.090. And zero minus, and this gives me an answer of 0 0.710. And there you go. So the final void ratio EF equals to 0 
710. And the correct answer is D. A very short video for you today. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you next week.